Ah, where's the supercharger wine? Well, there isn't one yet, but it is indeed coming. Welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. It is early in the morning here, 6.40 a.m. I just watched Ford's premiere video uh, of the Raptor R. If you guys haven't seen that, you saw it in the beginning of my video because I stole it, all credit to them. Of course, the Raptor R has finally, finally, finally been announced, and we'll get down to it right away. Only 700 horsepower, only which uh, was kind of weird actually and a little disappointing. I thought they would at least go with uh, 725 horsepower from the 5.2 liter V8 that will be supercharged. The same engine that's in the GT500, 640 pound feet of torque, but only 700 horsepower. And Ford is obviously justifying this by uh, saying, you know, power to weight ratio is a lot better than in the TRX that has two horsepower more, but it weighs almost a thousand pounds more. So obviously uh, that Raptor R has to be faster than the TRX. And uh, I think that it will, I haven't seen any performance numbers yet of that truck, but it is finally, finally coming. It's gonna be a 2023 model year. And I've been trying to reach Mitchell on the phone here, but he's probably still sleeping. Alabama is one hour behind, so it's 5.42 a.m. over there. He needs to wake his ass up so uh, I can put, put an order in ASAP if it's possible to do so already. I'm not 100% sure about that at uh, the time of uh, filming this, but we uh, we need to get an order in ASAP and Town & Country Ford down in Bessemer, Alabama is the dealership that I will be going with. So another great news is that Ford is bringing back an amazing color that I've been missing for so long that we couldn't get on this Raptor we couldn't get on our previous Raptor either I couldn't get it on my previous f-150 because it was only available for one year and that was 2017 it was the first year of the gen 2 Raptors and also the Mustangs got it the GT 350s and so on and that color is avalanche gray if you haven't seen it in person, uh, doing that color justice is very hard in just pictures, but it's an amazing color. It's a very, I don't even know how to describe it, very light gray slash off white, almost like a light Nardo gray. I love that color and it's coming back and I'm so happy about that. So, you know, spoiler, uh, <laughs> That's the color that I'll be ordering my Raptor R in, is definitely Avalanche Gray. But I am extremely excited about uh, this new Raptor because this is definitely, definitely, definitely going to be the final hurrah from Ford when it comes to, you know, big, powerful V8 performance trucks. After this, I mean, uh, unless a freaking miracle happens or something, you know, they're, they're not gonna make a supercharged V8 truck anymore after this. They're just not. Everything's gonna, you know, go electric. The lightning is already out and it's lightning fast because it is electric with, you know, all its torque and so on. But it's just, it's boring, it's boring. I want a Raptor R and it's coming, it's coming. I know that's what everyone's been waiting for. Although the horsepower numbers are a little disappointing. Only 700. I mean, they could have at least made it 703. I mean, come on, man, <laughs> 700 bucks. <laughs> Now, I was also up early this morning watching TFL's video. They actually had a Raptor R that they were using for filming, although they couldn't drive it. But what was interesting to see in their video in regards to the exterior styling. Now, except for, you know, having Raptor R badging and so on, Ford has decided to black the grill out. And uh, to my understanding, they're also paint matching the front bumper, just like we did. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, they're doing that because we did that aftermarket wise. There was another guy that did it before us, uh, Wild Willies. I always mess up his name, but he was the inspiration. You're awesome, dude. Anyhow, I think that is a great upgrade because it actually looks kind of bland and boring in stock format when the grill is, you know, it just it just looks plasticky. Same with the front bumper. It was just like a plasticky looking blade. It's just not good looking. So on the Raptor R, we will of course have an R right there. There's gonna be a graphics package for the front of the hood here available if that's something that you want. And of course, I'm gonna want that. Look how good this truck looks with the paint mask front bumpers, the uh, blacked out grill. We did the same in the back here. Uh, the tailgate applique is all black. 
uh, the rear bumper is paint matched in the lead foot gray that our current Gen 3 Raptor uh, is specced in. We also did the fender flares, they are paint matched and it just looks so much better than stock. Can you imagine this truck in avalanche gray? I mean, it's gonna look absolutely amazing, especially with a supercharged V8 under the hood. Now, we have the TRX. We have a Gen 3 Raptor already, although it's the regular Eco, bitch, I mean Boost uh, Gen 3 Raptor. Are we gonna have a Raptor R as well and have three trucks? I don't really feel the need for it. So I don't know yet which truck will be replaced if it's the TRX or maybe this. I, this wife is truck. I don't, I don't know. But we are definitely getting a Gen 3 Raptor R. I mean, we have to. Like we said, it's the last hurrah from Ford when it comes to trucks and pricing. This is kind of interesting. So pricing starts at $109,000 and that's pretty much where it's at. What you can pick is your exterior color, of course, uh, the graphics package, and also if you want a panoramic sunroof or not. So basically no sunroof or sunroof, an exterior color. That's what you pick and it's $109,000. Um, I'm just glad that I have a good relationship with Mitchell at Town & Country Fork is God knows what dealers are going to mark those truck up for. It's going to be absolutely insane, but uh, I will be getting mine from Town & Country Fork if Mitchell can wake up at some point and uh, we can get this ordering process going. Call Mitchell. Calling Mitchell. I need to wake up. What's up, homie? What's up, dude? Are you up? Man, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Did I wake you? Man, hell no. You know the Raptor R launches today. I'm, I'm in my uh, <laughs> studio typing out what I'm going to say right now. That, so. that's, that, I'm out filming the video right now. There, we got some supercharger wine. <laughs> I drove home, jumped in my favorite truck of all time at the moment here, which is the TRX, which will be the main competitor to the Raptor R. Now, I talked to Mitchell on the phone for quite a while, and today, the uh, order banks for all 2023 F-150s are supposed to open, whether it's a Raptor R or just a, a base F-150. They have not yet, uh, at the time of making this video, open. They might you know, update around lunch, today but by then this video will already be live and we're honestly not 100% sure of how Ford is going to do this with the Raptor R. They're not going to be making tons of those trucks. They're just, you know, not. They're going to be very limited and uh, I think it's going to be hard to get one just to be on the real realistic side. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get one because Town & Country Ford are a, they're a big dealership. They're a huge Raptor dealership. And, uh, you know, that's my best bet. So just to be on the realistic side, I'm hoping I'm gonna get one, you know, ASAP, quickly, soon, um, if it's just a, a normal ordering process. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see. We, we don't really know at this time, but I will be getting one though, one way or another. I'm just hoping it's, it's one of the, the first ones. Uh, listen to that whine. I can't wait to drive around on a Raptor that sounds like this, but again, 700 horsepower. I, I don't understand why they couldn't go at least 725 or at least 703. I mean, Ram put a TRX eating a Raptor under the hood. Like they're they're throwing shots at Ford. I mean, they really are. Ford should just come out with one that's 703. Then of course, Ram might come out with the last two raw, which is like a uh, red eye TRX or whatever. But uh, the back and forth is fun. It, it's funny, so Ford should have stepped it up a bit more and up the power a bit more. I'm sure they have their, you know, reasons, but uh, yeah, I just, I, I think they should have stepped it up. Man, this truck is a bad boy. Look how beefy this thing is. The Ram still is better looking than the Ford, in my opinion. It would be absolutely epic though to have a TRX and a Raptor R next to each other and do a bunch of cool comparison videos. I, I think that would be the, the, the natural step to take once we have a Raptor R on order. I mean, look at these two side by side. Great looking trucks, both of them. The Raptor is lifted. It's got 35 inch tires, a little wider, but uh, the Ram is just so much bigger in stock format. 
I know it's windy. I'm sorry. My wind protector sucks here. Uh, we're going to end the video here soon, but yeah, it would be really cool to have the TRX and a Raptor R next to each other or a Gen 3 Raptor Eco, I mean Boost and a Raptor R. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> And also to be on the realistic side, every time, at least now, you know, since COVID that we've ordered an F-150, it was the same with my 2021 Lariat. Had to wait a long time for that to come in. Um, ordered it end of September, came in in January. Uh, the Raptor, was the same thing there. Had to wait several months more. I think four more months, something like that, for the truck to come in. So being realistic. If I get uh, an allocation ASAP, I put an order in, I think it's going to take some time for that truck to come in anyhow. I mean, according to Mitchell, uh, Ford can't even make GT500s quick enough. Uh, there's orders in for those, and it's just taking time. We got all these microchip issues and God knows what else. Now, the Raptor R is going to have the same engine, although detuned. Um, so, I mean, how long is it going to take for the truck to come in? Um, you know, if, if we were to put an order in now um, and production dates start maybe like late fall, like they usually do for Fords, is it going to be coming in like in February, March of next year? I, I don't know. So we're probably looking at, you know, some time until we have the keys to a Raptor R. And that's if we get an order in ASAP. Now other updates in regards to the Raptor R. One thing I hated in my Lariat before we got the TRX was the transmission. The transmission is going to be the same in the Raptor R but it is now tuned uh, better than it is even in this Raptor I, I would hope because this transmission is so much better tuned for performance than the 10 speed is in the Ford. So I'm hoping for a big upgrade in the Raptor R in regards to tuning, because otherwise it's not gonna be taken on a TRX, it's just not. But obviously I think Ford knows what they're doing. Uh, they know what they have to fix. The 10 speed just isn't set up for performance, it's not. I mean, I know the Camaro and the Mustangs have the same transmission, but they're tuned differently. But in the trucks, it's just been night and day from the eight speed in the Ram. So yeah, I, I think this was a quick little video. I've been talking a lot, I know, so we're gonna end it with that, but exciting news, the Raptor R is finally a reality. So hopefully we can get an order in ASAP and have one on the channel ASAP. Uh, but again, I don't know exactly when that's gonna be. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Got some boxes here, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up if you're stopping in for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. Go to autoblog.com, enter to win my dream C63. I'm gonna have to mention that in the end of the video here. Every dollar spent is one entry to win. When you find a cool piece of merch that you wanna wear, you're automatically entered to win my C63. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.